Okay, it's your girl DJ Sarah Young, and we are at the big reunion with the crazy, the excitable, the enthusiastic J Funk. How are you doing? I'm all right, cheers. So, you are quite a regular at the big reunion, so this is definitely not your first time playing. How's it been in previous years, and are you looking forward to tonight? I look forward to this. Is quite honest, all the things I do all year long, this is the one weekend of the year I really look forward to the most. I'm not just saying that, but like basically all the reps we work with over the summer and all the people and all the DJs, this is like the one weekend of the year we all get together like properly. So I obviously have to have a little bit of a special performance. And this is my 10th year, so we're going to go experimental this year, possibly. We'll see. So um, what can we expect from your set? What kind of genres? Um, what's your set structure like? Oh, tonight, because um, I'm playing a J Funk set, like here, because I'm playing for the squat. It's like, quite like a deep sort of like jacking baseline house type yeah. vibe. Obviously, I can't take it too extra because I'm just playing the warm up, but I know the guys uh, the, who are after me are going to be playing quite more with the jump up stuff. So I'm not going to like play all the stuff that everyone knows and just spoil it. It's a warm up, we're going to keep it deep, we're going to keep it rolling, and just going to work the sound system because this is bloody awesome here. 2013 is right around the corner. Um, what kind of projects are you having coming up? And can we get any exclusives right now, please? Well, it's funny enough you say that. I was taking, speaking to Tom and the guys earlier, so I haven't produced anything this year. Up until like last week, I had to stay home and relax for a few days. So <laughs> I made the most of it. The first time, I'm, I've got a studio in my house. And the first time this year, I actually locked down. I made, I made up three tracks in about four days. And I mastered one on the Saturday. I sent it out early Sunday morning and by Sunday evening it got signed which is more of a that's more of a techno type of tip like old school like I used to be an old school hardcore DJ back in the days and like and my mate cut well it was it was that my mate, my mate come to me with this saw sample it was something for something else I can't say what but um he come up with that and I said that's just got to be a techno track and I just gashed out loads of um old early hardcore samples and we just like spent like seven eight hours on it I spent the rest of the night mastering it and we sent it out and it got signed so but what I make myself personally is like more like bassier, down tempo, like 120 BPM, like jacking 90s beats with like new analog bass lines. Love that analog though. It's all got to be about it. It's bringing the tempos down, get the groove on. Deep, deep. Um, now, any advice for any budding DJs out there, producers that you could possibly give? I would say just don't play the Beatport Top 100 like everyone else does. Do your, do your homework, find your groove that you love then expand on that. It doesn't have to be all about what's being played this week. Find your groove, do a bit of digging, get back into the vinyl, dig some old stuff, check out the B-sides, get your groove first, find your style, and then promote it to hell. But the best thing to do is like get your own crew together, put your own little night on in back rooms of clubs, pubs, whatever, build a following, and then you can go like to the club in London for, and big club of cherries on for example you can go down so I've got 150 odd people here like we're all getting down and they'll go yeah you can have a club so there you go. Amen good luck with your set very well described by the way for advice J Funk big reunion with your girl DJ Sarah Young peace <laughs>